What is the purpose of anxiety? All our emotions have evolutionary reasons. The classic emotions are mad, angry, bad, guilty, sad, depression, glad, happy, and scared, anxiety. Being angry triggers flight or fight and can get you out of trouble. Feeling guilty makes you behave better. You won't jump on a plane and leave your family when the going gets tough. Depression often makes others try to nurture you, which is what you need. And there are no problems with glad, that is happy. We all love being happy. Being scared or anxious is a growth area. We have so much to make us anxious today. We have the 24 hour news cycle and when you have had a baby, you are much more sensitive to bad news. The flood of oxytocin after your baby's birth, which is designed to make you more sensitive to your baby's needs, also makes you more vulnerable to anxiety. So that is why the year after your baby's born is a very vulnerable time emotionally. Perfectionism has become a driving force. One can't maintain it, but many women's inner dialogue can make her feel bad if she does not live up to the images she sees. The leading symptom of anxiety is fear. This can be compounded after having a baby if you have had a traumatic childhood yourself. We are wired to respond to situations using emotional tracks laid down in the past. If your childhood was difficult and you were on alert because your parents were unpredictable, this sense of danger is triggered when you have heightened vulnerability. Of course, you cannot do anything about your childhood now, but you can use reason and challenge catastrophizing. Most of what you worry about never happens. Being always on alert uses up a lot of emotional energy and is exhausting. Symptoms of anxiety include physical symptoms, racing heart, feeling sweaty, having trouble relaxing or sleeping, feeling agitated, having a stomachache or changes in your bowel habit. Emotional symptoms are worrying all the time, having a feeling of panic or dread, feeling overwhelmed or having fears about something happening to you, your baby or your partner. You may start to avoid going out, check on your baby constantly and have a change in eating habits where you comfort eat or miss meals. If you're having these symptoms every day and they are no better after two weeks, then seek help from your doctor or a psychologist. Practical steps to help are talking to someone about how you're feeling. Try to rest and eat a good diet. Try a mindfulness meditation. We respond to being surrounded by nature and that makes us feel better. Exercise that makes your heart pound have been proven to help with anxiety. You have to exercise every day for at least an hour to get the full benefit, but every little bit helps. Try and find a kinder internal voice. I am a good enough parent. Anxiety is treatable and with the right treatment you can reduce your anxiety and enjoy your baby more without being fearful all the time. So in summary, eat well and try and get more sleep and do some vigorous exercise every day. Ask for help from family and friends but not if they're critical and see your doctor if you still feel overwhelmed by anxiety. These early days with your baby won't come again and you want to enjoy them. If you found any of this information useful, please subscribe, it's free, and you'll be notified of my next video. If you click or tap on the left hand corner of the screen, it will take you to another related video. See you next time.